Let's create a live weather forecast application in Python. We will first decide on the user side process flow. Number one. We will prompt the user to enter any global location. Number two. Use a reliable third-party global weather API. We will use here the Open Weather Map Online service to request for real-time weather forecast data. It is received as a JSON file. Number three. Create GUI interface for better user experience. We will be using the Tkinter GUI. Number four. Display following values extracted from the JSON file into Tinter GUI, local time, temperature, temperature felt, wind speed, humidity, and atmospheric pressure. We will next design a proposed user interface and see how the application prototype is supposed to work. This is how the graphical user interface is to look like. If I enter the location Mumbai, the output would look like this. The current time is displayed in AM or PM along with of location and country code. Then downwards, we have more of the detailed weather conditions displayed. Let's next prepare for the application coding process. First of all, we need to get a third-party API key. I am going to use Open Weather Map Online service. Step 1. Enable your internet connectivity. Step 2. Sign up at the openweathermap.org website. Step 3. After signing in, from top right corner of the menu bar, click the Profile drop-down box. Then select My API Keys. Step 4. Copy the key value. Save it, like how I have saved here in a text file. Next let's create the image resources in a folder. The folder path has to be mentioned in your program wherever needed. I am going to use current folder. So, within the folder where our Python program is to be coded, we create following four image files. Number 1. Image file, box.png of size 624 by 90 pixels. Number 2. Image file, search.png of size 309 by 77 pixels. Number 3. Image file, search underscore icon.png of size 75 by 75 pixels. Number 4. Image file, logo.png of size 197 by 163 pixels. These are the Python libraries to be installed or imported for use in this program. First is, Tinter built-in package, that comes with Python standard library providing a toolkit of themed GUI elements to create desktop-based GUI applications. Next we have the GOPY library that handles third-party geocoders. It is used to locate the coordinates of addresses, cities, countries, and landmarks across the globe. Then comes Time Zone Finder Library. It finds the time zone of any point on Earth's coordinates offline. Number 4. The Date Time Module that supplies classes for manipulating dates and times library. Number 5. PYTZ Module. It is used for resolving the issues related to time zone differences. Number 6. The requests module. It allows you to send HTTP requests. Number 7. Pillow Library. It contains all basic image processing functionalities and PIL, the Python Imaging Library. We are now ready to start coding the application. Here comes the program code. We first import the required libraries or tools. We then create GUI window using Tinter Toolkit. It looks like in this preview. Next we define the getWeather function. First of all, the local time of required location is fetched. Then using the API key from Open Weather Map Web Portal, this function extracts the required live weather forecast data as JSON file. And finally, data values within the JSON file are fetched and configured as text data into their respective objects for being displayed on our GUI screen. We then place the orange colored search box image, search.png, into the GUI at its destined screen location. Next, we define the onClick function. The purpose is to clear default text content and change the font format in search box when it's clicked. Then we set up a text box that would prompt for location from the user. Default value of search box is type location in white color font. 
Note the application window preview. After this, we set the search icon saying click here to use it as search button. Place the image search underscore icon dot png next to search box and then assign it with the property of a button widget. If we type the location as Mumbai and then click the button, the next set of code executes and displays the location, name, and local clock time at their screen locations. Have a look at the preview. The code has used clock and name functions along with their values, which are already configured with their respective values in the getWeather function we defined earlier. We next resize the weather logo image for size standardization and then place the weather logo image at the designated location in the GUI. After that we place fetched values for current temperature and weather condition in the GUI. Now we place the bottom blue colored box at the desired location in GUI window. Then we create, place, and assign labels in the blue box for wind, humidity, and pressure. Next, the data values for wind, humidity, pressure as configured earlier in the getWeather function are fetched and displayed. Finally, we execute the application on main GUI window as a repeated loop. It means you can enter a new location and the application will display weather report for that place. The application works until GUI window is closed. Let's now run the code and check it. I type location Wollongong. Then I click the click here button. I get real-time weather report for Wollongong. If this video has been useful to you, don't forget to like this video. Do subscribe to our channel. Looking forward to your comments. You can copy program code from the comment section of this video. Message me for the image resource files if needed.